Today, I'll be teaching you all how to make a gazebo in Real Citizens. This build will look great in anybody's backyard, and I'm excited to show you how to build it. So yeah, let's get started. So here is our gazebo. As you can see, I really tried my best to make it as realistic as possible. For example, if you look at the railing and its top part, you can see that it is made out of many individual small building blocks. So a little word of warning for you all. This build is kind of expensive and will take up a lot of your furniture count. So if you're new to Real Citizens, I don't recommend you to build this yet until you've earned yourself a decent amount of money. Or you can just check out my other building tutorials. I have other builds that are way cheaper than this. By the way guys, if you haven't already, be sure to sub to my channel. I post a lot of really cool build tutorials just like this one. Also informative content that will help improve your Real Citizens playing experience. But without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. So what I have on the screen right now are all the things you need for this build and how much it will cost you to build it. I'll also be including timestamps in the description that will guide you to each part of the build so if you decide that you don't want to build all in one sitting, you can always go back to exactly where you left off. So the first thing you need to do before you start building is you need to decide which material you want your gazebo to be. The one that I want to build will be made out of wood so I'll be using the wooden building blocks but you can use the plastic building blocks if that tickles your fancy. At the very end we'll color it but for now we'll keep it like this to avoid any confusion during the build. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the base of the gazebo. The base is in the shape of an octagon so we can't just place blocks down on the ground as we usually do since they won't be all overlap. So to make the blocks overlap with each other at the base, first place down a building block and scale one side to be the size of three building blocks. Then you will need to make seven more of these. After you have done that, place down eight more of these. I know it's not really part of the ingredients for the build but I think you should use a building block with a different material for these ones. We won't actually be using these blocks in the gazebo, it will just be here to guide us. Once you have placed all of 8 of these blocks, we can begin building the base of the gazebo with the blocks that we have just modified. Begin by placing the white building blocks in this formation. You will need to adjust the position increment to 0.1 studs and the rotation to 45 degrees. I suggest that you keep it like this for the rest of the build. You should also have all of the arrows pointing towards the center just for consistency. Just make sure that you have them placed like me where the corners of these blocks are just barely touching each other. By the end of this, you should have this octagonal shape. The next step is to place the wooden bone blocks. First, place four of them like so. Make sure that they are placed directly on the ground instead of against the bone blocks at the side. After you have done that, place down the other four wooden bone blocks over in these areas here, this time relying on the bone block at the side to place it. For this part however, the game will prevent you from placing it directly on the ground. To fix this, have them lifted up just one unit just like so. Once you have those steps done, just adjust the height of it to where both of the blocks will be flat. Then, stretch out all of the bone blocks just enough so that it will fill up the entire base. And there you go, the base of your gazebo is finished. Now let's work on the sides. We'll begin by working on, I guess you consider them as the, the pillars of the gazebo. I'm referring to what will be holding up the roof later on in the video. So they will be 8 blocks high, so to start building the pillars, begin by stacking up 8 building blocks. Then, place down a building block next to it. Resize this to be a relatively small size for the width. It should be moved out 2 units out starting from the minimum width. Then, match the height of the pillar with the height of the building blocks that you had just stacked earlier. You will need 15 more of these pillars once you have done creating the first pillar. 16 of them in total, where 2 of them will be at each of the corners of the octagon. This might take a while, so pause the vid to scale all of those building blocks.
You should have something like this once you're done scaling all of the bone blocks. Now, we're going to need to move them to the corners of the octagon. First, grab a pillar like this. Then, grab a random bone block and put it on the side over here. After that, place a pillar against it. Have the width of it minimized all the way and push it in where the edge of the bone block that you're currently selecting is just touching the corner of the other pillar. Make sure that the height of the two pillars match. Then, resize the minimized pillar back to what it was before. Once you have that done, you just have to do that for the rest of the corners. Okay, so once you're done, this is what it should look like. Now let's work on the size of the gazebo. Begin by placing down a turntable around here. Then, place down a block on top of the turntable. Resize it to where each of the ends of the building blocks meet with the pillars at the sides. Have the height and the width of it be minimized all the way. Then, modify a building block to where it is two blocks high when it is placed here. Again, make sure the width is minimized all the way. Continue making these bone blocks so you can fill up this area like this. Once you're done with that, use a block that is almost like the block closer to the bottom of the base and just place it on top of here like this. So just continue doing that for the rest of the sides until you have completed all of them. Okay guys, you all should have something like this so far. Next, we will complete the side of the gazebo by placing some blocks closer to the roof. Begin by resizing the block just like so, and then place some tiny blocks just above of it, similar to how you did it at the bottom. You do not have to fill up the top part since it will be for the roof. Continue this process until you have completed the rest of the sides. If you have made it this far, then you have successfully completed all of the sides of the gazebo. Now, we will be working on the roof. The roof is actually very simple. It's a lot similar to how you would be placing the base of it. So what I did is, I just pulled off some random bone blocks so I can build up the roof here. I will be moving and scaling this white block as we go along. So match up the size of each side of the gazebo. It should be 3 blocks long. Then, place it at the top of the white block. After that, grab another building block and make sure it is around the same size as the one you just placed. To overlap them, adjust the block at the bottom to be one unit up so that you can place down another building block. Then, continue until you have completed all of the sides. Once you're done with that, move the building block up until you have reached the top of the building blocks at the bottom. 
Resize the bone blocks to where it is the same length as the edge of the bone block that is not being overlapped at the bottom. Continue doing this for the rest of the roof, altering the height of it by like one unit so that you are able to place down the blocks. Once you're at the very top, just scale another bone block so that it can fill up the little hole. And there you go, the gazebo is all finished. I'll just go and color it all up now. I will be using brown for the base and the sides of the gazebo, and black for the roof. Feel free to use whatever colors you guys would like. Alright, so I've just finished the entire gazebo, but I accidentally forgot to add in the benches. The benches are very simple to make as well. Pull out a bone block where the height of it is minimized all the way, and place it on top of a bone block with no modifications to its size. Have the length of the bone block that you are placing to be stretched out 3 blocks long. Like the base and the roof of the build, just alternate the position of it by one unit so that you are able to overlap them like this. And now we're done. I've added some details to it, like these bushes here, so that it would look nice in photos. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys later.